Bring in an old friend of the show, Congressman Roger Krishnamurthy of Illinois. He represents the state's 8th eighth, eighth District. He's a member of the House Committee on Oversight and Reform and the House Intelligence Committee. Congressman, good to see you. We normally have you on here to talk politics, and I guess this is politics in a way, but it's mostly racism, actually. Donald Trump is doing his Donald Trump thing uh, that he does with people of color, uh, with Nikki Haley. Uh, he's he he mispronounces her name very differently. Not mispronounces it. He just says a different name. He invents a different name for her. He's implied that she's not qualified to run for president because her parents were not uh, American citizens when she's born uh, when she was born, which is not actually a requirement to run for president. I, you're, you you share a similar background. You you were born elsewhere and have come to America. Um, it, it, it and it's getting under your skin. It is. I think that this uh, set of remarks is uh, racist, it's wrong, it's reprehensible. Um, this type of rhetoric, by the way, also leads to hate, hate crimes and violence. And I wish that and I hope that my Republican colleagues will also call this out for what it is. Um, but I was also very disappointed in Nikki Haley's response to this. It felt squishy and she missed an opportunity to speak out on behalf of millions of Americans who would find this rhetoric to be very disturbing. You know, as the quote unquote candidate of the future, I wish you would talk about uh, what the future of America looks like, one that is more inclusive and where this type of rhetoric is just completely unacceptable. Yeah, it's and and one wonders because she's an experienced politician and she uh, she actually you know when she was governor of South Carolina had to deal with a, a specific very uh, public racist incident in the in the shooting of those people at the uh, Mother Emanuel Baptist Church which resulted in the removal of the the Confederate flag uh, from the state house. She knows this stuff and yet she continues to sort of say, I don't I don't I didn't experience racism so maybe it's not that big a deal. Yeah, I think she looks weak. I think that this is exactly the playbook that Trump used against Marco Rubio, against Ted Cruz. And um, they then uh, did the same thing that Nikki Haley apparently is doing right now, which is they didn't call out uh, what was happening for what it was. And as a consequence, uh, you know, they not only went on to lose their nominations, but they appear to be kowtowing to Trump. And I think that the more that people are silent in the face of this type of rhetoric and these attacks, the more they encourage it, the weaker they look, and uh, the worse off uh, their party, and I would argue all of America is when people aren't calling it out. Uh, let, let's just remind our viewers, because Donald Trump is most likely going to be the uh, nominee for the Republican Party, about what he said about those uh, those other candidates. This was uh, from January 14th, 2016. It's not the first time and only time he said it, but let's, let's bring uh, this to our viewers. At the end of the day, the legal issue is quite straightforward, but I would note that the birther theories that Donald has been relying on, some of the more extreme ones insist that you must not only be born on U.S. soil, but have two parents born on U.S. soil. Under that theory, not only would I be disqualified, Marco Rubio would be disqualified, Bobby Jindal would be disqualified, and interestingly enough, Donald J. Trump would be disqualified. <laughs> Donald's mother was born in Scotland. She was naturalized. Now, Donald, but I was issue, born here. On the issue Remember. of citizenship, Donald. Big difference. On the issue of citizenship, Donald. I'm not going to use your mother's birth against you. Okay, good. <laughs> because it wouldn't work. But in fact, that's exactly what Donald Trump is using against uh, Nikki Haley. And it's what he said about Ted Cruz. First of all, Donald Trump's wrong. Let's just be clear on this thing. Your parents, where they are born, is not relevant. You and I uh, would be disqualified from being from the presidency of the United States uh, because there is a requirement that you are born in the United States. Nikki Haley was. So there's the gaslighting. Uh, which kind of works for Donald Trump. And then there's the inherent racism, because everybody he does this with is, is, is you know, of a particular group in America. That's right. And it kind of works, but it kind of doesn't, right? Because on the one hand, it works within uh, the narrow strata of Republican voters who turn out for maybe a primary or a caucus, that uh, base that he is appealing to. But on the other hand, it doesn't appeal with general election voters, Ali, and it doesn't ap appeal with, for instance, voters in my own district. Um, you know, uh, I represent one of those suburban 
districts that will be swingy uh, in a general election in other states. And 30% of my residents are foreign born. The vast majority of residents of my district uh, you know, either have personal or business ties to other countries, and they, they find Donald Trump's rhetoric very disturbing. And I think that's why, for instance, he lost the 2020 election. His party underperformed in 2022. They lost special elections in 2023. They are not a party of the future. They're not painting an inclusive vision of the future where everybody in America can succeed. Uh, Congressman Krishnamurthy, good to see you as always. Thank you for being with us. Democratic Representative Raja Krishnamurthy of Illinois. All right.